is there a diet that increases dopamine? Because there's you can increase serotonin with HTP and L-tryptophan, which converts to HTP, 5-HTP. What is, is there anything that ramps up your dopamine? You know what does in the prefrontal cortex is fish oil. In uh, fact, schizophrenic, some schizophrenic, schizophrenic patients are prescribed a really high dose because they, they lack, their dopamine's lower in the prefrontal cortex, and this is sort of associated with a lot of the negative, paranoid, delusional sort of... And when you say high dose, what are you talking about? Oh, like six grams, anywhere between three to six grams a day. And what is a normal dose? Well, if you look at, if you're talking about normal in the sense where what's typically used in like a randomized controlled trial, it's like one one, gra- one or two grams. What is recommended, people like USDA? Or what would you recommend? It's, like There like, is no recommended. Nothing? It's not, no, because mm-hmm. because what's recommended is the, um, so there's a plant version of it, alpha linoleic acid, uh, because you can convert that into the marine, ome- uh, the marine omega-3 fatty acids, DHA and EPA, uh, that's the one that's recommended. So it's like the what you essentially need, right? So, right. so that's the one that's recommended. But um, Is there a concern about um, potential heavy metal poisonings when you're taking in fish oil, or is that all, all that stuff? Do they know how to filter that stuff out? It's the, definitely purified out, and, I mean, it depends on, the fish the oil that you're, yeah, the fish oil you're getting your your fish oil from, but there's there's and there's um, international fish oil standards organization. Uh, the, a lot of different fish oil companies um, are tested by them, and they show like their all their arsenic, mercury, PCBs, um, dioxins, like all those you know potentially harmful compounds, and they also look at oxidized um, polyunsaturated fatty acids. So they're looking at total oxidation and things like that. So that's a really good um, site to use to look at whether, you know, your fish oil brand is... Do you get yours in the pill form or do you do like Carlson's where you get it in the bottle and take spoonfuls of it? So I get mine in the pill form because I, I have a friend that makes it in Norway and he sort of um, has convinced me that it's like really good. So I really like his fish oil and he doesn't make it in the liquid form. Um, but I do. So I take I take about like five or six grams a day. I take a lot. Wow. Five or six grams. Yeah, and I'm taking like a high dose DHA because um, it gets into breast milk, and I, I haven't 100% weaned my son just yet. How many pills is five or six grams? Um, it's like oh that I take. Yeah. So I'm taking six. Six, six pills. pills a day. Yeah. Oh, so each pills a gram. Yeah. Wow. So um, that is high dose. It's really high dose. It's it, really, uh, it's a really good fish. It's not he he's working on getting it available in the United States. Uh, I think that's supposed to happen like in the next couple of months. Mm. But um, I used to take Carlson's. Carlson's was uh, the bottle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, lemon. that's what I take. Yeah. So you take a lot, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, but um, I take three tablespoons. I thought that was a lot. How much is in? I don't know. I don't I'm know. I'm wondering. Um, no idea. We'll I'm have to talk about my my Alzheimer's Omega-3 publication, but we still have carnivore yeah, stuff to talk about. Yeah, let's keep going. I'll, I'll put that aside. <laughs>